Hi, it's Ramesha here with Vocal Bliss. Welcome. Today, I would like to talk about how to pronounce correctly your vowels in singing because singing and speaking, you don't pronounce the vowels exactly in the same way if you want to have good resonance in your sound. So this is what we'll talk about a little bit and I'll show you how to do it. But before we do that, I'd like, as always, to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any of the videos I put out in the future. So, in singing, we pronounce vowels a little bit differently from speaking. And the reason is that in singing, we also need some more resonance, especially when we go into the higher range. But not only, also in the lower range, we need more resonance. So, for example, when we speak, we can say, ah, okay, simple vowel. When we sing, if we want to sing well, we can't really go, ah, it doesn't sound very good. We have to relax and expand the back of the throat more, the pharynx here, so that it's not just ah, but it's ah. See the difference? There's, there's definitely a difference in the tone that you can, you can hear. Now, with vowels like A ah and O, oh, it's relatively easy to create more resonance. You just open and expand that part of the throat. And it may take some time uh, to develop the uh, habit of doing it, but it's not that hard. So you sing more ah, oh, and you keep this area here open and relaxed, and that gives the tone more resonance. When you speak, you wouldn't say, you wouldn't say, uh, oh, I mean you can, but it sounds a little weird. You, you, you're more defined, ah, uh, oh, okay? But in singing, that's what you do. Now, when it comes to other vowels, and this is something that I see my students running into, and I remember myself struggling with it when I was studying, vowels like E, especially. E is a little bit of a tricky one because it's a very closed vowel. It's E, it's not like A. Ah. But at the same time, you still need to have this expansion of the throat in order to have more resonance with the vowel E. So when you sing, if you say E and sing E, it doesn't really sound very good. You have to have more resonance and make it more E instead of E. See, the back of the throat is more open. Now, this becomes particularly important when you go into your higher range. Because if you try to go up with E, E, you get to a point where there's just nowhere you can go because everything closes up and there's no resonance, no sounds. But if you it's all uh, open and relaxed, but it has resonance and you're able to go up there without any problem. Now, how do you say the vowel E for singing? This is a very interesting one and I want to guide you through how you get to the, the pronunciation of the vowel E correctly for singing. So, so follow what I do. So open your mouth and sing ah. Ah, ah, keep your throat relaxed and just make a nice round sound of ah. Now, without closing your mouth at all from ah, from singing ah, all you have to do is lift a little bit the back of your tongue. So from ah. And then try to say E in that position. So, uh, e, e. see how you're just lifting the back of the tongue and you're saying E. Now, lifting the back of the tongue is what needs to happen for you to say E. If you pay attention to what happens in your mouth, when you say E, the back of your tongue is probably even touching the roof of your mouth. Now, with your mouth open, that won't happen. It won't touch it, but the back of the tongue still has to lift up a little bit and so that you can say the sound E. So let's do it again together. So open your mouth, say 
ah, and then lift the back of the tongue. E, e. So if you're singing it, it sounds nice because it's round. E. If you say it, e, it sounds a little weird and it feels weird in your mouth. But that's the position that you have to get used to in order to sing E in a way that works. Because like I showed you, if you go up, you know, you can sing even higher notes and the sound still is still the same sound. It doesn't change into something else. But if you go, it doesn't really work. There's not enough space for the sound to be resonant. So, so this is what happens for the vowel E. Now let's look at the vowel A, which is also a little bit tricky and it follows a little bit the pattern of E, but not quite as dramatically. So you still have to lift the back of your tongue a little bit to say A when you sing, but not as much. So your A instead of a will be a, a, and again you can feel if you do it the back of the tongue is lifted a little so start from a uh, again uh, and then lift the back of the tongue a little and then say a. a so this is a little easier than e still a little feels a little odd and different definitely different from speaking but that's that works a little bit better and it's a little easier in my experience teaching um, e and a tend to be the hardest vowels for students to learn in, especially when they start to go into their head voice and so this is why i'm i'm teaching you this so that you can prepare that transition going into the higher notes by singing already the, the vowels in a slightly different way and that will help the process of figuring out how to access your head voice. U is a little bit different still, but it's not quite as complicated. It involves mainly your lips because you have to close your lips a little to say U. But inside, it's open just like O. U. The only difference is really the position of your lips. So it's not that dramatically different. To uh, finish it up, I want to uh, go through all the different vowels and I, I'm going to say them in the way you speak them and then I'm going to, going to say them in the way you sing them so that you can hear the difference. So let's start with E. So you say it E but you sing it E and then A you say E but you sing uh, and then ah, uh, you say ah, uh, but you sing ah. Uh. And then o, oh, you say o, oh, but you sing o. Oh. And u, you say u, uh, but you sing u. Uh. So it's still open, lips are closed, you're still saying u. Uh. I hope this helps. Um, you can even <laughs> do a little. Um, game that I did with choir a few times here where you you pick a song and read the lyrics without singing just read them out loud and try to say them with using the pronunciation of the vowels in this way so instead of I don't know the usual example I bring is the song life is a dream I don't know it just comes to mind but instead of saying life is a dream you can try life is a dream and it sounds a little weird but that's exactly how you would sing it life is a dream but when you sing it it sounds normal when you speak it that way it sounds funny but that's what you have to get used to so in general what needs to happen is for you to be aware that you your the back of your throat has to be open and expanded a little bit uh, all the time basically no matter what you're singing low or high that's what needs to happen and so if you can follow that that will help you to create this resonance while pronouncing all the different vowels
I hope this was helpful and if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and consider also subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video, bye bye.